Okay, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to design a flyer. Um, start by opening all the images you want to use in your flyer. I'm going to minimize them real quick to get them out of the way. And then we're going to start by starting the new project. File, new. And um, you could do different sizes for your flyer. Um, you could do a full size page, which would be a height of 11 and a width of 8.5. But I like to do half size flyers because um, you can fit a lot of information on a half sheet and then you would get two flyers out of every normal size page. So I'm going to do a width of 5.5, which is half of 11, and a height of 4. And my resolution is set at 350 and click OK. Um, you start by finding your background image. I'm going to use this one. You click, you make sure that your move tool is selected, click in the center of the picture, drag it over to your other document, and you're going to want to back up a little bit so you can work with this. So push Control minus, or I think there's a zoom in and zoom out tool somewhere. Um, and then click on the, click Control T, that's your transform tool. And from there, you're going to drag it up to the corner and then push shift and click on one of these little toggles in the corner and drag it out until your background, your image fills the entire screen. And I'm going to leave it a little bit off-centered like this. I don't want to put it directly in it. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, and then from there, we're going to add our text. To add the text, click on the T tool. That's the text tool. And click and drag to make yourself a little box. That's where your text is going to be. Um, choose a font over here and the size that you want to use. I'm going to pick 18 for the, for the title of the text. I like that to be a little bit larger. Type that right. Okay. And then the price, I like to make that a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to go down to a smaller size font, 12. Okay, and another thing you can do once you've got your text and there is these little toggles on the left and right. There's one here, but you can't see it because it's the same color gray. If you drag that out, it kind of spreads things out a little bit. So, you know, this was originally getting chopped off right here, and I didn't like that. So, so if I drag it a out a little bit, it gives it more space there. And once you're done, just click on the Move tool in the upper corner. And I like to do... You can make a few more adjustments by pushing Control T. That's your Transform tool again. Shift again. Hold Shift down and drag until you get it about the size that you want it, and press Enter. Okay, once you're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and add some extra pictures. This one I want it to be black and white, so I'm going to go Image, Adjustments, Desaturate to make it black and white, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, with this Move tool selected, I'm going to click in the center and drag the image over here. Now, to make it a little bit smaller, I'm going to push Control T. And then I'm going to push the Shift key again. If I don't push the Shift, I risk, you know, warping it like that. So I'm going to push the Shift key again, drag it in, and then to kind of twist it, make it tilted, pull your little cursor back until it turns into a curved arrow, and then just kind of drag it up a little bit. Press Enter when you're done. And I'm going to add a border so it has a little more distinction from the background. To do that, you go Image, or Edit, sorry, Stroke. And I selected 10 picks here, and my color is white. And I push OK, and that puts up a little border for me. I'm going to drag the next image over. Drag it over just like before. Now, this one's huge, so to, to take care of this one, you're going to push Control minus to back out a little bit, and then Control T. Now, there you see where the edges of that picture are. They're way outside of that border. So I'm going to push Shift, and I'm going to drag it in just like with the other one. I'm going to move it a little bit closer to where that other picture is, about the same size as it. And then I'm going to rotate, I'm going to kind of tilt it the opposite way, just like I did the other one. Now we can zoom back in. Okay, and then I'm, with that image selected, I'm going to go image or edit stroke and do the same thing, 10 pixels, color white. And we have another image there. Okay, and I want to add a little bit of extra text. This is another thing on your text feature. Up in the upper corner here, you have right aligned, centered, or left aligned. I'm going to leave it on centered, and I'm going to click right here in the middle. And I'm going to type in contact information. Okay, and then I can click on the Move tool and move that around if I need to. Now, once that's done, um, I want to make this 
this white text stand out a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is over here I'm going to click on the layer that is the background. You can see it's the little picture, the hands of the baby's head. And I'm going to take my opacity I'm going to drag it down a little bit. Now that doesn't make the white stand out anymore at this point. I'm going to click on the background and to make it really dark in the background I'm going to push control backspace. Now that turns my background black because the black was over on the lower part of the color box. So when I when I decrease or increase my opacity it goes from full to kind of darker and that's what I'm going for in this particular image. Um, if you wanted to go with the lighter look you could alt backspace and that puts the white which is on the top in the background. Um, if you did that though you'd want to also probably add a drop shadow. Okay we're going to add a drop shadow to the different images. I'm going to click to select an image push control and then click on the image that you want to select and that will automatically pull it up over here in the layers palette. The other way would be to go over here and find the one that you're looking for. It's kind of hard to tell which one's which though. So I usually push control and then click on the image that I want. Okay, so it says that's layer two. And then I'm going to click on this little F and do drop shadow. And you can see a little drop shadow appeared. I'm going to go ahead and increase that drop shadow so you can kind of see it there. Um, and then once you've created one drop shadow, instead of repeating the process on the other one, you can just go to that layer in the layers palette, click on the effects, and then drag it up under the other one. Now the other one has an identical drop shadow. Um, and you can also drag it and put it onto the text. This text now has a drop shadow. That's especially helpful when you have a light background like that. But I don't want the light background, so I'm going to change this background back to the black for a darker, more impactful look. So... Um, once all that's done, I would go, I, would, I have to save the file. I'm going to go File, Save, and we're going to come up with a name for it. And make sure that you're saving this as a Photoshop file. At least one Photoshop file needs to be saved. And then you can go ahead and flatten it by clicking the corner here and then scrolling down to Flatten Image. File, Save As, and this time save it as a JPEG and that makes it easy for printing.